Good evening, everyone. It is the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. It's Weather for Weather Geeks, ninth day of April, the day after the eclipse. We just talked about weather today. We didn't have any uh, mind-blowing astronomical events to discuss today, but we did have some toasty temperatures. We made it to 77 at the airport today, just two degrees shy of today's record high. That record, an old one, 1931, it was 79 degrees. By the way, the record low today, 17 degrees, set in 19. 72. So a uh, toasty one today. In fact, it was our warmest day of 2024 so far. But we are tracking some storms this evening. Now, I'm recording this video at about a 7 11 p.m. We'll show you the radar as of the, this uh, recording here momentarily. But we did have in the 6 o'clock hour some hail that pushed out of uh, Carroll County and pushed into Columbiana County up to three quarters of an inch in diameter around Hanoverton. Uh, that specific storm has undergone some weakening, but there's probably still a few pea-sized hailstones trying to fall as of 7-12 this evening from Austin Town up towards McDonald, Mineral Ridge, maybe around the Niles area as well. All of this is sub-severe, and a lot of this is just some garden variety springtime thunderstorm activity. Uh, things are not going to get too rowdy, it looks like, this evening, unlike some of our neighbors off to the uh, south. Uh, another severe weather event ongoing this evening across the uh, the Delta heading down towards Louisiana and there's also a severe thunderstorm watch for the hill country of uh, Texas south of Dallas down closer to San Antonio and Austin this is all associated with the same system that's gonna come east over the next couple of days and produce more severe weather including a threat around here by Thursday evening our high-resolution modeling not doing a great job initializing the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity it's overhead this evening you can see there's just not much on the model so it's not doing a great job but the general idea it has for the overnight hours is any thunder would be restricted to early this evening I think as we go through the overnight showers will continue to kind of fill in and as you wake up tomorrow morning and head off to work in school it's not going to be much but there could be a shower here and there and this will be a different day coming up on wednesday now april 10th our average high is still in the upper 50s to around 60 so even though we'll be cooler than today it's still going to be warmer than the average tomorrow afternoon with highs in the mid-60s. That said, not much in the way of sun. Some breaks here and there for our Wednesday. And there could be a passing shower from time to time as well. But I think a lot of the days is going to be kind of ho-hum, uneventful. And then we got to focus on Thursday. And here comes that system that's in the deep south right now. Brings us some showers here and there Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Then we get firmly into the warm sector by Thursday afternoon. Now the atmosphere overhead by about this point, by about mid-afternoon on Thursday, will be characterized by brisk southerly winds at the surface, south-southeast winds at the surface, but aloft the wind more out of the southwest. That's wind shear, of course, so the wind shear will be increasing. The sun's going to try to come out in the warm sector Thursday afternoon. If that happens, the atmosphere will become more unstable and more able to tap into that wind shear that's above our heads. So, you know, I think we've got some things going for us in terms of the severe weather threat Thursday afternoon. The latest run of our model here shows the main cluster of storms pushing through maybe just before sunset Thursday evening. So six, seven o'clock, something like that. I would say as a general window at this point, we're going to be focusing on about 5 p.m. to maybe 9 p.m. on Thursday for thunderstorms to bring all types of severe weather hazards to our area. And then the cold front rolls through, and yikes, Friday looks gnarly. Uh, gusty wind, rain showers around, temperatures mostly in the 40s in the afternoon. Yuck. But today, as expected, uh, if you watched Weather Geeks yesterday, I speculated on the uh, what became the Day 3 Severe Weather Outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, issued early this morning. And indeed, they did go with a slight risk of level 2 in most of eastern Ohio and western PA. When this becomes the Day 2 Outlook in the middle of the night tonight, um, the forecasters at the Storm Prediction Center will take a look at the latest data. Wouldn't be surprised if I wake up tomorrow morning and they have an enhanced risk, a level three, somewhere across the region. I don't know if it's in the Youngstown area, but it may be more in central and southeast Ohio if, if they do go with an enhanced. But at the very least, I think they'll maintain a slight risk, at level two. It might even uh, carve out a level three in some places. Severe weather or not, it's an unsettled pattern for the next several days with uh, rain showers at times tonight into Wednesday, even though it's not going to be much on Wednesday. Showers here and there Wednesday night, the showers, the thunder threat for Thursday, and then a, a damp day Friday. And I think shower and thunderstorm chances will increase again at the end of the weekend on Sunday. It's all going to add up over the next seven days to probably upwards of a couple of inches in some parts of Ohio. Now, specifically in our area, 
you know, I, are we going to see two inches worth of rain? Can't really pinpoint that at this point as far as the next week. But the potential is there for a general inch to two inches or so as a general idea in all of northern Ohio <clears throat> and uh, northwestern Pennsylvania as well. So unsettled times are ahead, but warm times are ahead as well. I think next week will be pretty balmy. I think we'll have several days next week with highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. That, of course, is warmer than the average for this time of the year. Now, the pattern will probably change some as we go towards, say, just beyond April 20th. So here's a look at a model depiction, the European model depiction of temperature anomalies by Tuesday the 23rd. I think we're largely warm, with the exception of the quick cool shot that follows our storm threat at the end of this week. So Friday's going to be chilly, Saturday a little on the cool side. But this is largely a mild pattern for the next 10 to 12 days. Beyond the 20th, 22nd, 23rd, something like that, you know, the, the pattern's going to start to introduce some cooler risks across the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley as well. Will it be cold enough for some sort of uh, late season snow? Can't really say at this point. But at the very least, there might be, you know, a later than average hard freeze um, during the last 10 days of April, if this uh, were to verify. Uh, we can't really specify much more than that at this point, but the potential is there, I think, beyond the 20th of April for a cooler pattern for at least a handful of days. Until then, any cold or cooler weather would be fairly fleeting, like we'll have at the end of this week. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. On Wednesday, we'll have a full update on the severe weather risk for Thursday. We'll talk about uh, the weekend forecast in more detail and much, much more.